H. Pylori infection. Dietary do's and don'ts. In the treatment of H. pylori infection, it is important to apply the right diet program. Because following the right diet is of great importance in the treatment and relief of symptoms. The diet regime that is implemented is often individual. But there are some basic rules that patients should follow. Food that harms. Excessive sugar consumption is a risk factor for ulcer disease. Sugar causes increased secretion of stomach acid, which can trigger symptoms of the disease. Increased salt intake is associated with an increased risk of peptic ulcer disease. Caffeinated beverages, coffee, tea, cola, and even decaffeinated coffee can stimulate the secretion of stomach acid, but can be consumed in moderation, preferably after a meal. Food that helps. Consumption of fresh cabbage juice accelerates the treatment of the disease. Although studies on the effect of juice on disease are still preliminary, doctors and nutritionists recommend consuming half a deciliter of juice per day, for 10 to 15 days. Scientific studies have shown a link between the intake of linoleic acid and the ability to heal the lining of the stomach and duodenum, as well as a reduced frequency of ulcers. Linoleic acid is the main source of arachidonic acid, a precursor of prostaglandins, which have a cytoprotective effect in the duodenum. Since the best food sources of linoleic acid are vegetables, seeds, and seed oils, especially flaxseed, it is useful to include these foods in the diet. Omega-3 fatty acids have also shown a protective effect. So the diet of these patients should include plenty of fish, especially fish from northern seas such as cod, salmon, and herring. Fermented dairy products contain probiotics, so-called, beneficial bacteria, that restore balance in the intestinal system and protect against harmful bacteria and other pathogenic microorganisms. Lactobacillus acidophilus, L. acidophilus, and other types of probiotics have demonstrated bactericidal and bacteriostatic effects on Helicobacter pylori in studies. Probiotic products are also helpful because they reduce the harmful side effects of drugs used to eradicate H. pylori, such as antibiotic-induced diarrhea. Eating foods rich in fiber may be beneficial in preventing duodenal ulcers. The consumption of fruits and vegetables is especially useful. And another advantage of these foods is the significant proportion of vitamin A, which is also important for the healing of the mucous membrane. It is also very important to reduce the level of stress and practice regular relaxation techniques such as yoga, stretching exercises, or meditation. General recommendations that can help reduce gastric acid leakage and regurgitation. Eat slowly and chew your food well try to be relaxed while eating sit up straight while eating do not eat any food at least three hours before bedtime choose foods that are low in fat limit your intake of caffeinated beverages and your intake of citrus fruits tomato products and chocolate especially if they cause you discomfort